Um, since I've been connecting to Egypt a lot, I think I'd like to explain um, what the Ankh is and um, how you can, like when when uh, Cheetal came into my body, um, I was saying Cheetal in the last last video, but it's Cheetal. Um, when he came into my body, he was like, "All right, you should onk now." And onking is using your sex sexual orgasm, um, and you in the in all of the hieroglyphs, what the the true symbol is, is it looks like a deity or whatever, and they they're like this, but they're they're kind of bent. Uh, like if you're if you're to bend your legs and then sit up, kind of. That's how the the hieroglyphs always look like it, their legs are bent up like this, and then right here, there's like the ankh is is right on top of their knees, and what that means is I haven't I haven't tried it with my knees up, but I'm pretty sure that's how it works. Um, but anyway, what I was gonna say is um, if you mix uh, your sexual orgasm with um, kundalini breathing. It basically it creates this huge amount of light that can purify everything. And um, when Cheadle came into my my vessel, he asked me to do that and to to climax basically as I was climaxing with my Kundalini yoga and or my Kundalini breath of fire to to purify and incinerate all of the 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 lower frequencies and and thought patterns and and uh, that that demon um, set inside of me. And, uh, I had a vision a long time ago where Set basically got locked in this room, this like dark room. And, um, what they told me is that was part of my subconscious and it, he was, he was locked inside of that. And the objective of that was to literally put him inside of me because by putting him inside of me, we could take down a lot of, like, if you... Kind of like if you kill Dracula, all the vampires die. That's kind of how it was. Like, you destroy this demon and we could take down a lot, a lot of darkness. Or transmute a lot of darkness into light, you know. And that's what what I did. And, um, yeah, so he, he came to my vessel and then he told me to go downstairs underneath my pyramid and start masturbating and, um, and do kundalini breathing. And I did that and it felt like the, like crazy crazy high amount of energy um coming through me and and uh it was it was insane and like if you want to raise your vibration really fast do that um and you'll you'll have a kundalini awakening i mean anybody who's who's already doing um kundalini but oh so the technique of onking in that little picture like i was describing the onk the onk is looks uh if you're looking at that that hieroglyph like this the ankh is right here like on the on the the deity's knees or the the egyptian god's knees and it goes up and then loops out like that with with the two um with the cross like that and what it is it's showing you that the ankh the ankh is not a representation of your vessel like this it's a representation of, of your vessel like this and um uh so like when you're when you're orgasming you feel you feel your the orgasm come up from below and then right as it reaches um right right as it reaches about here on your spine you shoot you you command and direct that energy out the back of your spine and you loop it it like automatically loops up above your head and if you do it right it starts con like makes your 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 body kind of convulse like this and um that's why the in that that uh those hieroglyphs the um the the um the body of the person that's onking is is has its has his knees up and then is also um it's kind of indicating like with his with his back kind of arched or up that when you orgasm like that you um you you can't really control your body and it starts like convulsing with how much energy is running through you and um it's and if you do that with kundalini also it just it's this huge huge burst of light that um can incinerate anything and then uh yeah then you 
you just have to go and, and if you're doing that constantly, it's it's constantly purifying your, your vessel. And then um, when you're not doing that, you're just observing and, and keeping that flow of energy from from source coming into you. And that, that's that's why a lot of the Egyptian deities like Ra um, have a depiction of a, a red a red sun above them because um, and then uh, Ra also has a golden snake. Um, wrapped around his red sun, but that is basically signifying that they're channeling the sun or they're channeling this, this, uh, this, this, uh, like golden source, um, vortex of energy, you know? And, um, yeah. So, uh, try it, try onking. It's a, it's a crazy experience if you do it with Kundalini. Like, let me tell you, it's, it's, it's like the, the really, really, uh, it's hard to describe how much energy you feel, um, especially after working with these ascended masters and asking them to come in too, and that that's even stronger. Like um, like Shiva, for instance, and like these different um, deities can come in and um, uh, improve your vessel and give you DNA upgrades. And that's why do, doing a CE five meditation and meditating out underneath the stars with with a group of people and asking for downloads and upgrades and to act as channels. And that's really the, the, the reason why they want to help you is because you're, you're becoming a bridge, um, a light channel, uh, an energy vessel, um, of source to, to give the, this light out to, to people, um, in the world and illuminate, um, illuminate all of the, these beings that are here on earth, you know? So, uh, yeah. Um, do the, try that out. It's crazy. Be careful with it. If you haven't done a Kundalini, or if you haven't had your Kundalini awakened yet, it's definitely going to happen. Um, you just have to stay, make sure to stay grounded all at all times, you know, um, keep your energy in the earth and, um, be, be at one with yourself and, um, be, be at peace and, um, yeah, keep those emotions in, in love, be in love with yourself and, uh, yeah. It's a lot of fun. Just gonna say that. <laughs> uh, but do, don't do it too many times. Um, like I would do it like maybe once a day, uh, or like maybe once or twice. Probably probably just once is probably where it where what you should do. Um, and uh, period periods of abstinence are good too. If you want to. Uh, or if you're, if you're addicted to masturbation or whatever, you definitely need to fix that. Cause it's any kind of addic addiction. If you're, um, expressing any kind of addiction, uh, then those ascended masters won't want to help you. And, uh, that's a big, big part of it. Um, so yeah, guys, try it out. Have fun. <laughs>